carefully uh, review the substantial allocations that are made under foreign aid uh, to be sure they're serving our national interest and they're just not, to, not just something that, you know, that we've got a routine way of handling and that uh, we normally do. I like you do a little thinking there. It won't hurt Dave Bell's feelings. But I, I sure uh, think that we're just routine. We're busy trying to get money away. We just, we'll, we'll, we'll rope anybody come down the street. We just run and lunge at them and tongue them well, trying to give them some money. And I'm tired of that. Now, that's well, I'm prepared to, as a matter of fact, we had a long discussion of this in our review of the age preview, and I'm prepared to come down fairly hard with uh, that one. I just think I would without any question and see what can be cut out, what's got to be cut out, and so forth. Number two, full rights got a bill before the Senate to distribute these uh, local right. funds. Right. Right. Uh, we've got up an idea right quick and we ought to give it back to them for some good, good idea. I don't know what it is. Uh, right. I haven't come to that conclusion and I don't want to. I don't want to reach that conclusion now. I want to see if there's not some way that we can buy some things in those countries that we need so that. Uh, uh, they'd really uh, respect us a little more. I think if we just uh, trade them well, funds and then turn them over the funds, I think it, we might as well not ever trade them to begin with. And uh, I think if we could do nothing but buy shoestrings in India and bring them back and give them to our Salvation Army, uh, they would have a feeling of dignity and uh, respect for us. And they would have uh, done the best they could to pay for it. Well, Mr. President, uh there's so much behind this that I find it hard to respond in a hurry, but if this is something that if you had, if you could set aside 20 minutes one day, I'd like to really bend your ear on it, if you don't mind, because there's a long background to it. I'd like to bring up that we, we've done an awful lot in this. We keep getting beat over the head by the Congress. I've gone you through know, it with Kermit and right. with Rooney, and I've yeah. talked to Rooney a good many times. Can't get Our job has been trying to give them what they, what uh, they, they, they've traded us. Now, uh, the Congress, uh, they're not going to do that. Now, I, I think we ought to take those rupees and things we got and buy something that they sell, that we import from there. Well, of course, you realize the problem with that, Mr. President, is that this puts a lot of pressure on their foreign exchange rate reserves in the sense that if we buy anything that we otherwise would have bought with dollars, this really gives us... Well, that's what we wouldn't otherwise bought in dollars. Yeah, well, this is buy what something you can use with all of our poverty program in this country or something else. The point is, there's no use of make, giving them rupees than giving them rupees. No, I agree. Uh, well, I, what, I, what is, God damn it, I know what it is. Our people have been working for the governments over there. We haven't had an ambassador to India since Bunker that wasn't an ambassador for India. Yeah, well, I agree with you. I know that's right. And yeah. what I, I just don't agree with this idea that we ought to, maybe we ought to require the exchange. Maybe we ought to just go ahead and give them the money. But if we do ex require the exchange, let's require them to have some self-respect. And if we just have to buy shoestrings or cigarette holders or... or Maybe if we can move in those directions at the same time. Take a little hat. less on the exchange, get a little bit more for what we get might be the way to get at this. So. Anyway, we've got to have a position on the Fulbright Bill, and I am not for it. I want that clearly and definitely understood. I've tried with Rooney at, to, at, to, at to Kermit's uh, suggestion. Uh, it was a personal fad of his, and I wanted to kind of try to help him a little. And I tried, and it is unsaleable, so I'm not going to waste it for well, a time. Well, Mr. President, I hope uh, I can catch this. I have a, an unfortunate recollection that we may have cleared that, that bill, uh, uh, no objection report about a week ago. But uh, I'll have to double check that for you. If we did, we'll have to you tell him it's going to come back vetoed because it's just going to. I, I, if I've cleared it, I didn't know I was clearing it. No, well, you, no, you didn't, Mr. President. I think we did. But I'll have to double check that. I'm against it, and I, they're shoving at me every way in the world they can to, to get me to it, and I just held it back. And Harry McPherson got a big two-page memo here today, and I had a two-page one Saturday, and I just got every hand I've got working for India. And I, Bowles has got them all working in the of the United States. So I'm just, a, I want to, whoever's going to testify on the bill to say that we are concerned this number of combination. We think it's a good thing we tried to sell uh, some a part of this idea. Uh, we went along a small, small percentage with Rooney, and Rooney wouldn't buy it. Wouldn't buy it. So therefore, we don't think it's much going to flow from this kind of a bill. 
and we're trying now to find a new approach to see how we can spend these things for things that they make that we wouldn't otherwise buy right. and bring to this country and distribute to our poverty or to our Red Cross or some other way. Well, let me run this down and let's see what we can... We've been trying to dredge up some new approaches with Rudy having been uh, the way he has been on this. But as soon as we can come up with something, I'll let you have it. I think this, if I say to you that uh, You've got to put in uh, some watermelons, and if I feed your family all winter, when you raise some watermelons, you've got to put them in. And then you put in the watermelons, and I decide that I don't want to haul them home, just turn them over to you and your family. I think that you lose your self-respect, and you don't feel, you feel like you paternalist, people have been paternalistic with you, and you hang your head, and you've just been, had a gift. But if I take those damn watermelons and bring them over here and feed them to uh, some of my own people, you'd feel like, well, damn it, do they help me all right, but I did my best to show them I gave them all I had. Mm -hmm. Well, let me get on this, Mr. President, and try to get something for you that we can we can work out on this. As I say, we're limited to how far we can go, but let me see what I can do. We can talk to Harry about it all well. Right. right.